Hi, how are you doing everyone? Please welcome back to learning English with TSK. For today's video, we are going to continue to the other uses of the present perfect continuous. Okay? Now, let's go to the board all together. We use present perfect continuous in usage number two to talk about an action started in the past and stopped recently in the past and explicitly there is a result in the present. Once again, action started in the past, stopped recently in the past as a result in the present. This is what we are using present perfect progressive. Are you ready? In order to be clear, let's go to the example all together. Now, let's go. For example, I am exhausted now because I have been running. For example, I am sitting and drinking a bottle of water. And then when one of my friends see me drinking, okay, a bottle of water eagerly like that, he asks me, so what's wrong with you? You look exhausted, you look tired. What happened to you? And then I reply to him, I have been running. So the action I, I start running, I started running is in the past. And also the action of running, I stopped recently. And as the result in the present, I feel exhausted or I am exhausted. Okay? Action in the past, started in the past, stopped in the past recently. And as the present result is, I am exhausted. So I, I don't need to say, oh, I started running in the past and I stopped recently and then now I am exhausted. You don't need to say like that. You have to express this feeling by using present perfect progressive. You only say, I have been running. That's it. Okay? You don't need to explain more, all right? You don't need to explain more. Just express the meaning, okay, of the example by using present perfect progressive. Understand? Now, let's go to the second one. The grass is wet because it has been raining. I really didn't know when it started raining and when it stopped. But only the reason I know, I see the grass is still wet. And then I know it has been raining. Rain started in the past and stopped recently, but I don't know. Okay? I don't know. But the result now is that the grass in front of my house is still wet. So, you use present perfect progressive to talk about an action started in the past and stopped recently in the past as the result in the present. Okay? Let's go to the third one. You don't understand because you haven't been listening. You don't understand because you haven't been listening. For example, one of my friends, or one of my students, sorry, one of my students, he says, Teacher, I don't understand. Why do we use that word for that situation? And then I say, yes, sure. You don't understand because you haven't been listening. The action that he did not listen to me is in the past and also finished recently. The result now is that you don't understand what I mean. Okay? Action happened in the past. Okay? Stopped in the past recently. As the result now, one of my students he doesn't understand. Okay? So let's go to the next one. He has been drinking, oh sorry, she has been cooking lunch. She has been cooking lunch. Present perfect progressive. For example, I saw my grandmother's index fingers Okay, it's bleeding. And then I don't know why. What happened to her fingers? So I asked my mom, Mom, 
What happened to grandma's fingers? What happened to her? I don't know. And then my gra- my mother said, or my grandma, my mother said, he has been or she has been cooking. Sorry, she has been cooking lunch. The action she started cooking lunch is in the past, okay? And also stopped recently. As the result, you see now, her finger or her index finger is bleeding. He, she has got a deep cut in that, and all that is bleeding too much. Okay, so action. My grandmother started to cook lunch is in the past, and stopped recently. As the result, her index fingers is still bleeding because she has got a deep cut. Okay, now let's go to the next example. He has been drinking too much beer. He has been drinking too much beer. For example, um, one of my friend called me and said, uh, "Mr. Kane, um, one of our friend has got an accident. You know, like uh, he was dri- he was riding the motorcycle and then absolute, you know, and immediately he hit the coconut tree. And then I asked him, what happened to him? What's wrong? What has he been doing? What?" Has he been doing? And then he say he has been drinking too much beer. As the result, he had got an accident. The result in the prison, he had got an accident. Okay, but the past action is that he drank a lot of beer, so that's why action happened in the past and stopped recently. And as the result, he has got an accident. Okay, so that sentence expresses the action started in the past, stopped recently, and it usually a result now. So let's go to the next example. I have been getting my hair cut. I have been getting my hair cut. I don't need to tell you know. Someone that I got my hair cut five minutes ago, ten minutes ago. No need to tell him like that. I don't need to tell them like that. Okay. I only express this feeling or this you know action by using present perfect continuous. For example, he has in you know like uh, there's some hairs on my shoulders on my shirt. And then he asked me, "So, Mr. Kane, what happened to you? I have seen a lot of hairs, you know, on your shirt." And then I say, "Sure, because I have been getting my hair cut. I have been getting my hair cut. The action I got my hair cut is in the past, started in the past, and stopped, okay, recently in the past. As the result, there's some hairs on my shirt. Okay, or for example." You have seen some, you know, like a, a little cut. Okay, it's bleeding, but it's not too much on the edge of my ear. And then when you see that, you ask me, Mr. Ken, what's wrong with your ear? It's bleeding. What have What have you been doing? You know, what have you been doing? And then I tell him, I haven't been doing anything. I have just been sorry. I have been getting my hair cut. That's it. Action. I got my hair cut. This in the past. And I stopped getting my hair cut recently. As the result, now you can see a little cut on the edge of my ear. This action expresses the present perfect progressive. Okay. Let's go to the next example. Have you been fighting? Have you been fighting? Present perfect continuous. For example. I, you know, like I uh, have seen one of my son. His nose is bleeding. Okay, his nose is bleeding, and uh, the right jaw is swollen. Okay, and after that, I ask him, "Hey, come on, please tell me the truth. What have you been doing? Have you been fighting?" I ask him, "Have you been fighting?" The action that he fought is in the past. And just stop recently. Okay, stop recently. As the result, now 
his nose is bleeding, his jaw, his right jaw is swollen. Okay, this is the action talk about past, started in the past, stopped in the past recently, and the present result. So I ask him, have you been fighting? Present perfect progressive. Have you been fighting? What have you been doing? You know? So every time you are to every time you talk about the action happened in the past and stop recently in the past as the result in the present, you are going to ask them by using present perfect continuous. Okay? Let's go to the adding example. What has she been doing? What has she been doing? Okay? For example, <laughs> I see um, one of my sisters. One of my sisters, she has got some, you know, like lipstick, you know, like on her forehead. On her forehead. And there is a cut, you know, like on the edge of her eyebrows a little bit. And then I asked her, so, what have you been doing? What have you been doing? What happened to your, the edge of your eyebrow? What happened, what happened on your forehead? What's wrong? And then she tells me, I have been making up my face. I have been making up my face. Okay? As the result, she has got a cut on the edge of, you know, like the eyebrow and the lipstick is on the forehead because, you know, she is careless. So, action started in the past, stopped recently, and then as the result in the present. So I asked her, what has she been doing? What have you been doing? You know? You know, why do I ask her the question like that? Because I can see the result in the present. There's some lipstick spot on her forehead, and there is a cut on her edge of the eyebrow, you know? That's why I asked her by using present perfect progressive. What have you been doing? What has she been doing? What has, what has he been doing? What have they been doing? You know, present perfect progressive question. Right? Let's go to the next one. Have you been smoking? Have you been smoking? For example, um, my older brother-in-law, he has got the problem with his lung, with the respiration system. Okay? And one day he went to the doctor and then the doctor advised him to stop smoking cigarette. In case that he, he still, you know, like keeps smoking, he will cough and cough and cough. Okay? So one day after leaving from school, I went back home and as soon as I arrived home, I see him coughing and coughing and coughing. So the question I asked him is not in the present. The question I ask him is not in the past simple, okay? So the question I ask him must be in the present perfect continuous, okay? For example, have you been smoking? The action he started to smoke is in the past. While I was there, he stopped smoking, but it's not for a long time, but for only recently. I mean, just like for a very, very short time. And as the result, he is coughing. Okay, things, action happened in the past, started in the past, finished in a very short time, or recently, and then the result in the present. Okay, let's go to the next one. He hasn't been learning for his exam. He hasn't been learning for his exam. Present, perfect, negative. Present perfect continuous negative. Okay, for example, the action he did not study, he did not learn for his exam is not only today. It happened long time ago, happened in the past, and just finished recently. Okay, as the result now, he failed his exam. He failed his exam. He feel disappointed. And then I say, sure, 
because you haven't been learning for your exam. Action that you did not study is in the past. And also, the action that you did not study finished recently. As the result, you failed the exam. So you are going to express this meaning by using present perfect progressive. Okay? Let's go to the next one. They have been eating hamburgers. They have been eating hamburgers. For example, one day I went to visit my sister cousins and nephew. One day I went to visit my cousin and nephew in the outskirts. Right? As soon as I arrive there, I have seen, you know, I have seen all of them, they have a, you know, tomato sauce on the face, on the upper lip, on the nose, you know, on the chin. And then I asked, you know, my older sister, what happened to them? Why do they have, uh, you know, uh, tomato sauce on the cheek, on the lipstick? You know, like on the upper lip, on the nose, on the chin, like that. And then she says, because they have been eating hamburgers. The action that they ate hamburgers is started in the past and stopped eating recently. As the result now, I saw their black, their tomato spot, you know, tomato spot, tomato sauce on the face, on the upper lip, you know, on the forehead, on the chin, on the cheek. So action happened in the past, finished recently, it means stopped recently, and then the result in the present. Let's go to the next one. I have been fixing my motorcycle. I have been fitting my motorcycle. I have been fixing my motorcycle. For example, um, I go to the coffee shop. I'm drinking coffee, okay? Uh, as soon as I'm drinking coffee, my friend is coming. And then he is sitting at the same table with me. And when he look at my hand, my hand is dirty. There's some, you know, like a motorcycle oil, you know, on my fingers. And then he asks me, what's wrong with your hand? What have you been doing? So what do I say? I said, because I have been fixing my motorcycle. The action that I fixed my motorcycle is not now. It's in the past, started in the past. And the action just finished. I mean, just like stopped recently. As the result, you can see my hand, you know, is black. There is some, you know, like a motor oil on my fingers. You know, my hand is dirty. Okay? So action happened in the past finished recently or stopped recently not finished stopped recently and then as the present result is that i got the dirty hand okay let's go to the next one the last one he has been digging in the garden you know on my grandfather's t-shirt or shirt there is there is some mud okay there is dirty you know there is some spot of the mud you know like splashing over her shirt, his shirt like that and then I asked him Grandpa, what happened to you? And then what, what did he say? He said, I am, you know, I have been digging in the garden. Okay, so I say he is or he has been digging in the garden. The action that he did in the garden is in the past and stopped recently as the result in the present, you can see the shirt is dirty. Okay? So, go back to the conclusion of the second use. Use number two. We use present progressive or present perfect continuous. Sorry, present perfect progressive or present perfect continuous to talk about an action started in the past and stopped recently stop in a very very short moment very short time as the result in the present usually as the result in the present okay now let's go back again 
Usage number two. We use present perfect continuous or present perfect progressive to talk about actions started in the past and stopped recently. This is usually a result now. For example, I am exhausted now because I have been running. The grass is wet because it has been raining. You don't understand because you haven't been listening. She has been cooking lunch. He has been drinking too much beer. I haven't. So I have been getting my hair cut. Have you been fighting? What has she been doing? Have you been smoking? He hasn't been learning for his exam. They have been eating hamburgers. I have been fixing my motorcycle. He has been digging in the garden. Okay, so that's all for our video today. Please, if you are not clear some points of the second use of the present perfect progressive, please see the video again. Okay, again and again until you feel, you know, like um, uh, great. Okay, you feel better. And uh, please don't forget try to study hard because education is your treasure. Okay, if you have got real education, you are not worried about your life. You can make thousand. Thousands of job because of education. Okay, bye bye. That's all from me.